Hi, welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ramirez. Today I'm going to read from a book called Mother Goose's Storytime Nursery Rhymes. And I'm going to read the introduction to this star- this book because it talks about how Mother Goose stories started uh, being written down. Okay, uh, way way back in uh, before um, before our time, the people used to tell the stories. They you know pass them down generation to generation. But this tells us how Mother Goose stories started to be written down. Okay, but before we start, I want to introduce you to a word. So if you take a look up at the screen, the word gosling. Gosling. Can you say gosling? Very good. Very good. Uh, It means baby goose. Okay, so there are some goslings in here. And I'm going to read about them right now. And I'll make sure I show you the pictures, okay? One springtime, Mother Goose laid three eggs. The first one to hatch was a boy. He had big flat feet and he was noisy. His mommy called him Boo. One week later, a second egg hatched. She was a girl. She had very flappy wings and was almost as noisy as Boo. Her mommy called her Lucy. They had to wait one more week for the last egg to hatch. It was another boy. He was shy and dreamy. His mother called him Small. Boo, Lucy, and Small. Mother Goose was very proud of them. So here we go. Take a look at these pictures right here. If you can see them. Oop, there they are. Oop, there you are. See them at the, over here? This is the... Um, Three little goslings. And you're going to have to figure out which one's which because they all did special things. Just like you guys. Mother Goose taught her goslings how to do all the things that geese do. How to nibble at the soft, wet grass. How to swim up and down the great, wide river. How to duck their heads under the water looking for water weed and how to sleep on one leg on the riverbank. That was hard. Most of all, she taught them to waddle along behind her in a row. Waddle, 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 waddle. Keep up, Small, called Mother Goose, when Small stopped to stare at butterflies. And Boo, don't splash, when Boo jumped in a puddle. And waddle nicely, Lucy, when Lucy kept flapping at wasps. And keep together when all the goslings waddled off in different directions. Much like your parents, I'm sure, chasing you around. It wasn't easy looking after goslings. So Mother Goose started to tell them rhymes. Happy rhymes, sad rhymes, silly rhymes, rhymes to wave their wings to about, and rhymes to lull them to sleep. After that, whenever Small stopped to stare at a butterfly, or Lucy wandered off to look at a beetle, or Boo saw a puddle that was just waiting to be jumped in, Mother Goose told them a rhyme, and they all waddled on just as they should. They were such good rhymes that soon other mother geese started telling them to their goslings too. So did the coots and the mallards and the moorhens, even the voles and the water rats. All along the river at last, an old heron wrote the rhymes down in his book so that the children everywhere could enjoy them. So that is how Mother Goose stories were first written down. And I'll show you the pictures right now. So we have little, what's his name? Small. Small who loved to play with butterflies and stare at them. I think he's having a staring contest. And then we have 
Let's see who's else next. Then we have, what's his name? Let's see, how do I get you to see that? Not that one. Look at that one. This one is, up top, we have, um, Boo. Boo, the, the rambunctious, puddle-splashing gosling. And then finally down here, we have the heron. That's the intelligent bird that had the smarts to write down these uh, stories for generations to come. And then we have our beautiful forest scenery with the river and the little girl reading one of the stories, probably reading this one right now. And Mother Goose with her goslings, all splashing in the water. Oh, and there's a frog just sitting there, taking it all in, much like we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed that explanation of how Mother Goose stories were written down finally. And thank goodness for that heron, because hadn't he done that, we wouldn't have had these beautiful stories that we're going to read. Okay? So, come on back, and we'll continue more Mother Goose stories later. Thank you. See you next time. And welcome to, where are we? This is Storytime with Mr. Ramirez. Bye.